Good morning, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on October 7th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. We're going to start out today at a ramped up hurricane season. We now have cyclone heading towards Yemen and another one forming behind it. You can see here. Already packing wind speeds of 110 kilometers an hour, moving at 10 kilometers an hour west northwest. And we also have now Hurricane Michael, who is alive. Those two areas of interest in Mexico along the equator joined forces and now are forming a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico. We'll get more on the forecast of that storm in a moment we're looking around at four tropical storms looking at the seven day visible here watching a lot of rain with the convergence over central plains through Texas receiving flooding warning is throughout North Texas Houston and also watching here these are the cloud tops of Hurricane Michael forming, heading into the Gulf. Satellite image here showing winter snowstorm for Colorado and Montana. And of course, lots of rain for the upper Midwest. Watching for more developments tonight throughout Texas. So stay on alert. Here's satellite imagery of Hurricane Michael, projected to be a Category 1 by the time it hits the middle of the Gulf and Florida states. So stay aware and prepared, Florida, Hurricane Michael is on your doorstep. Looking around the world, three tropical storms, sorry, four, including Michael, and they're only calling it a 14 here but his name will be Michael. Leslie still turning in the Atlantic Ocean. Hurricane Sergio, still a pretty strong storm. Very defined eye wall. And looks like it will be heading back to the United States later in the week. We'll see though. We will see. Here's satellite imagery of Tropical Cyclone Luban, who projected forecast will be hitting Yemen in the next 12 to 24 hours. Here we are, Meteo Earth, brought to you by Meteo Mike, showing you the five day forecast. Hurricane Michael shows forming, heading into very warm water, 28 degrees Celsius there. So this could be even worse than a Category 1. I think it'll be a Category 2. Especially when we've got a solar wind stream that has started to pick up. So watching for extensive flooding throughout the southeastern United States over the next few days. As that upper level trough is creating a long line of convergence. And also watch for snow in Alberta. We're supposed to be receiving 5 to 10 centimeters tonight. Almost all of the snow that we got last week has almost melted away. We got a foot of snow last weekend. This weekend we'll probably get about 5 centimeters. Weather Network's calling for 10. I think we'll get 5. We'll see. We will see. So yeah, watching an up and down trend for temperatures up and down trend for hurricanes as well. Watching Typhoon head into the atmospheric river. It's gonna head straight east. That was Typhoon Kong Ray. And then watching here, five day forecast for the tropical storm Luban. Heading towards Yemen. So it's, they're saying by Thursday night, it will make landfall watching here 
another area of interest but this one heading north but will be bringing massive amounts of rain to parts of Myanmar and Burma so watch for flooding conditions there stay aware and prepared folks things are changing drastically and here we're gonna look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes last night we had that strange earthquake in Haiti it doesn't happen often but that was a pretty sizable earthquake they're already reporting 12 people have perished and then the simultaneous earthquake mid-atlantic ridge also watching today movement pacific antarctic ridge so yes lots of earthquakes in different fault zones the last couple days and we also have an increased wind speed now space weather will be affecting us over the next 36 hours so stay strong stay aware and prepared and much love to you all thank you for watching today also these strange earthquakes in china now it doesn't happen often in china northern parts of china especially 4.2 4.6 4.5 4.9 look at all these earthquakes there last seven days i mean those are the only earthquakes and they all happen today So yes, I, I'm really happy that you guys are here with me today to overlook the earthquakes from around the world and watch for an uptick in seismicity still. Cascadia fault line, San Andreas fault line. I'm going to be watching this region closely over the next little while. Thank you so much for watching today. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you've made it this far in the video, much love to you. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world